If you are a CE consultant or a power platform developer, you need to get familiar with creating environments so that you can have constant playgrounds to learn and experiment with. Fortunately, that is exactly what we are covering today in this step-by-step -step demo on how to spin up trial environments. We even have a bonus hack at the end of the video, so make sure you stay till the end. Last note, this is the current process of how to spin these up, so I would highly recommend you hit that little star on your browser and save this to your bookmarks. So that way you can always come back and reference it when your trial expires. And without further ado, let's get started. The first step, which I'm not covering today, is, that I'm going to recommend is creating a new browser profile. So you'll see that in our demo today, I am using Edge and that we are starting from a clean slate, fresh canvas and ready to go. Assuming you now have a new profile, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to navigate to this website here. Don't think about having to type this out. You can find this quickly in the description down below. It's going to direct you to this web page here. And what you're going to do, you're going to hit try for free right here. Not by now. You're going to hit try for free. Once you hit try for free, you are going to be given this page here where you have to enter an email. I personally use my personal email address every time I've done this and have had no problems. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in now. So you're going to hit set up account. And then you're going to be brought to this tell us about yourself page. So go ahead, don't lie. You can if you want to, but I tend to just use my my information. So now with the company name, you can choose whatever name you would like. It cannot be something that is already used in the system. So I tend to just come up with something and then just a series of numbers after that. And then your company size, in my experience, it does not matter which one you select here. I feel like I tend to just select 2 to 4, but this is not going to limit your system in any way. I think this is just used for Microsoft's record keeping. This doesn't matter too much. Um, if you'd like to receive more information um, with select partners, you can. I don't ever check that, um, but you get that. Then you're gonna be brought to this verification here. So you're gonna have to type in your phone number and then hit send verification code. So after you get your verification code, you can type this in. I have had experience where it will spit out an error here. It says something along the lines of um, unable to create code due to volume or high volume. The only advice I can tell you is just to spam um, send me code. I've had to do it for I think up to 10 minutes one time. You will eventually get this verification code. If you're getting that error, you're not doing anything wrong and there's not really any way to get around it. Once you get your code, you can verify. So as you can see here, it's going to add your first and last name and then at your company name dot on Microsoft dot com is going to become your user's email and their account that's going to be set up um, directly. So then go ahead and type in any password you would like. We go ahead and hit next. It's going to say creating account. Please do not refresh the page. So after this, you're going to be brought to this page here where it's payment info and finish. Um, I do see that this is $38 a month per user and I will just say that you will have to add your payment information but I can completely promise you it will not charge you for anything. You are not signing up for anything. Um, I think it's just another level of verification that Microsoft uses to make sure you're not bots. It automatically when your trial expires it will not then charge you and renew it as a tenant it will just close your trial so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out and then hit save so you can see here the total today is 0, 0.00 so then you're gonna hit start trial All right, so once you get to this screen, you have made it. You have signed up for your Office 365 trial. You can hit start using Office 365 trial. It's gonna bring you then to admin.microsoft.com, the admin portal for your trial. It may bring you to a series of starting steps. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just continue through these. We're gonna say, um, no, use the default domain here. We don't have you know our own domain, but it has created one for us, so use this domain. Here is where you have the ability to add users and assign licenses. If you had several people that you want access to um, the demo environment, you can add them here. For our example, we are not. Um, you are still able to add users traditionally. Um, if you don't add them here, you can still add them later. Okay, your domain is citizen developer 123. Again, that's our company name, dot on microsoft.com is set up. 
you hit continue, and then you're going to hit go to admin center. So once you've become familiar with the admin center, go ahead and navigate to marketplace in the top left. And what you're going to want to do, you are going to want to search for Dynamics Services. And that is going to bring up D365, the different services. And for our example, we are going to find the Dynamics 365 Sales Premium Service. Let's go ahead and select See All Dynamics Products. And here you can see that we have our D365 Sales Premium. Go ahead and select Details. Select Start Free Trial right here. So this is going to bring you to a checkout type screen. Go ahead and select Try Now. All right, so here we have our order receipt. Let's go ahead and continue. So now if you were to go to Billing and Your Products, you should see your new trial here with your Office 365 E5 trial. Now at this point, you should navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center, which can be found in the description down below. It is the second link, and doing so will direct you to this web page. Once you are here at the Admin Center, it may ask you to select Get Started. That's okay. And then you're going to get this nice, lovely welcome screen on the home page. Go ahead and select Environments here in the top left. So you will have a default environment automatically created for you, but that does not have any apps in it currently, and we don't typically like to work out of a default environment, so we want to go ahead and create a new one. So let's go ahead and select New, and we are going to call this um, Citizen Demo. And make sure your region is correct, and then what's really important is you change this type from Sandbox to trial subscription based. I typically use this one as opposed to this trial here. I like to use the trial subscription based. You don't have to fill out a purpose and then you'll see that these are grayed out now. So go ahead and click next. Now you're going to be brought to this page here. Make sure your language and currency is correct. And then you'll see here that you do require a security group. Go ahead and hit select and select the restricted access security group here. Your citizen developer 123. Once you have done that, the last important step is to make sure you enable D365 apps. So go ahead and swipe this to yes, and then automatically deploy these apps. You can select which apps you want it to deploy. So I typically use all enterprise applications at the very top here. You can select a different one if you would like, but I'm going to recommend all enterprise applications for our situation here. That way you have access to more capabilities in your demo environment and you're not just limited to, to one app. So let's go ahead and hit save. All right, so you will be then brought back to this screen and you'll see that your environment at first has a state of preparing. This process can take up to 15 minutes, so be patient, walk away, go get some coffee or some water and come back, hit a refresh. But eventually, once this is done, you're gonna be able to navigate into the environment here. It's been a little bit of time now and you can see that after a refresh or two, the state of my environment is ready. This is now selectable. If we go ahead and click this, um, it's going to open up our environment here. What I'm going to then challenge you to do is then navigate to make.powerapps.com and go to your environment. Please note that this can take up to 15 minutes for the environment selector to actually appear. Um, but then once you're there, then you are in Power Apps and you can begin configuring your environment. So now you have successfully spun up a D365 environment, but let's make sure we take this to the next level by extending our trial an additional 30 days. What you're gonna do, you're gonna navigate over to your products over here in the billing dropdown. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna to go to, you can see right here for each license, it has an active expires on. Um, and so what you're gonna do, you're gonna click into that, and then you're gonna click this little cheeky extend end date right here. So what you're gonna do, you're, it's gonna show your payment method, and then you're gonna hit extend trial. Again, this is not going to cost you a dime, but once you hit extend trial, you can see that extended the end date update successfully and now 
it shows one month later. So do that, you have to do that for the different trials. So I'll be going back and doing that for this one here as well. If you're looking to take your demo environment one step further, be sure to check out this video here. This is gonna show you how to now install Copilot into your trial. Copilot is the newest and greatest way to boost your users' productivity, so make sure you learn how to turn that on. And as always, see you in the next one.